host Puleng Mulabati on Rupilong every Friday at 17.30. Welcome back. You're still watching Money Live here on SABC2. President Jacob Zuma will today, the 10th of May, officially launch and hand over to the community of Beaufort West, a youth hub at Kwamandlengosi Township in the Western Cape. The multi-million rent facility has been established by the Department of Rural Development and Land Reform to serve as a recreation and education center to the youth in the area as part of promoting rural development. Now, the center comprises of an amphitheater, gymnasium, swimming pool, a sports facility and a skills center as well as a community hall to the local municipality. We're crossing over to a reporter in the area, Nomalwe Tusorwande. SCC Molo, Singalinda Laintoni today when the president hands over the youth hub. Well, a very good morning to you, Balisa. Indeed, we are coming to you live from the Beaufort West Youth Hub, Komandlengosi Township. Now, this is a town that's right in the middle of the Karoo, so it gets very, very cold in the morning, but it's also very dry. But since we are arrived here yesterday afternoon. I must say it's been raining throughout and I'm sure that this has been welcomed by the community, especially the farmers in this area. But I'm sure this kind of weather is not going to dampen the spirits of the community members here as President Jacob Zuma is set to officially hand over this youth hub. Um, it's a very um, impressive facility. It boasts an astroturf, um, a gymnasium, a swimming pool to name um, but a few. And it's very interesting that we as the SABC are here to broadcast this morning because this is an initiative that was actually started by the SABC. Um, a crew actually came down here to do a story as part of our Touching Lives program and this story highlighted a whole lot of pro problems um, such as HIV, teenage pregnancy, drug abuse um, to name but a few and this is what actually prompted government to do something for this community. So construction started in earnest in October 20 2013 and it was completed in um, April 2015. So again, um, President Jacob Zuma wish, will officially hand over this facility to the community here today. So it will be very interesting to hear what um, the government officials, but especially the people of this community that see this facility as a beacon of hope. But um, we'll come back a little bit later to share those views. For now, it's back to you in the studio. Well, thank you very much. That's our reporter in the Western Cape, Noma Letu Solwanda. We'll be crossing back to her in the next hour. Well, now it's over to Lien with the news of Haiti becoming an official member of the African Union. Lien? Yeah, indeed. It's an exciting story for the Caribbean state of Haiti. It's, uh, as uh, Palessa said, officially becoming a member of the African Union come the next AU summit, which will take place next month in Malawi. In 2012, Haiti indicated its interest to move from its observer status to member status. It'll be the first time any nation with no geographic connection to the continent of Africa joins the AU. So joining us now to talk about this uh, in our Pretoria studios is His Excellency Ambassador Jacques Junior Baril. He is the Haitian Ambassador to South Africa. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Well, thank you for having me. Let us understand, why, why would Haiti uh, decide to join the African Union? Well, I mean, I think it's very important to understand the, the basic of it. I don't think we, we decide. I think it's a place that we are... Uh, entitled so I think it's a place it's a place that we earned um, after we fought for our independence 212 years ago we kind of paved the way for every other African nation um, to be free today so uh, historically speaking Haiti actually should have been in the uh, AU already so we are glad that it's happening now um, we are very happy that uh, everybody came to the understanding that our place is actually uh, right there with uh, everybody else from the continent at the AU. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been a long time in discussion. It really has been. Um, but let's, I suppose, look at how uh, Haiti actually hopes that this relationship is going to be mutually beneficial. And, 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 and what will Haiti contribute um, and, and, and better itself at the same time? Well, 
I, I think I think one of the one of the first thing that we need to understand is um, by being part of the uh, of the African Union, we we opening the way to um, every African living abroad. Um, what what we what we'll call the African diaspora. We are opening the way for them to. Act